Catalina Lauf. I work in the political space. And I'm Madeline Lauf, and I'm the founder of Begin Health, a children's nutritional company. We grew up in a really small town outside of Chicago. Our mom's from Guatemala. Our dad's a small business owner from Chicago. And so we brought two different cultures together to create us. A little bit of crazy and um, a little bit of fun, yeah. I guess. <laughs> They taught us the values of hard work, liberty, to love this country unapologetically. Our dad is a beekeeper and just had so many different things out in the countryside and it was just such a sweet We quaint. grew up selling honey yeah. at, <laughs> at farmer's markets, so yeah. my line was, uh, have you ever been stung by a bee? <laughs> but really it was teaching us again, entrepreneurship, small business, self-reliance, and that we're the ones that need to put in the hard work to get what we want. You know, my mother being from Guatemala, escaping what she had there, growing up in poverty, and coming here to the United States, being able to fulfill her destiny and be somebody that she couldn't there in her home country. And they really instilled in us the sense of uh, purpose, but also uh, self-accountability, and that we had to strive to do the things that we wanted, and it was up to us to make those things happen. In America, there's no ceiling of opportunity. You know, you define your own destiny through personal responsibility, through hard work, through having a moral value system. That's the American dream, and President Trump's providing that for everybody. Look at my business, Begin Health. As a small startup that is growing and launching, we are constantly trying to innovate. And the big challenge that COVID brought that we just didn't see coming was that just almost everything kind of just shut down. And when you are a small startup and you have limited funding and the funding is really only to kind of get you to that next milestone, we were really struggling. And so we were able to apply for a PPP loan, which really helped allow us to continue hiring and working and developing our products so that we could ultimately still launch. It's now more than ever so important to have a president and an administration that understands that small business is the backbone of our economy. Tax Cuts and Jobs Act was huge. Manufacturing, deregulation, fair trade. These are things that affected real Americans. We have a champion in the Oval Office who has this business background. He actually understands the need for small businesses like my sisters to survive. We aren't the stereotypical conservative. I mean, we're, we come from Hispanic descent and we're millennial women and that's not what the media wants. And so somebody like AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, this far left, these women come out with these very very destructive political ideologies that are trying to infiltrate millennials and the next generation. I've decided to step up and say, well, we need a counter voice to these women. There has been an assault on capitalism, just generally. And I think it's very scary to imagine a Biden world where the progressive wing ideas are starting to take front and center stage. You know, that will really choke the American economy. There will be over-regulation, over-taxation. It's very hard to innovate through those two things. And ultimately, what's really sad is the thought of, you know, making all of us dependent on the government. And we are not going to allow that. I've seen a lot of moderates, a lot of people now changing over because of everything that's been happening. This is a taste of Biden's America. I mean, this the rioting, the crime, freedom is at stake now. And this is going to be the most important election of our lifetime. We want to preserve the America that our mother came here for. Having a thriving economy, that is keeping America great. And President Trump has delivered on that promise. He's truly fighting for the American people. We're the greatest country in the world, period. On our worst day, we're still the greatest country in the world. And in order to preserve that, it's by putting America first, having a thriving economy, having happiness.